People have always dreamed of having superpowers. That's the reason why people invented superheroes in comics. In the animal kingdom, though, there's no need to dream about having powers, because some already have them. Number one superpower is totally amazing, so stay tuned for that one. Here are the top 10 amazing animals with real superpowers. Number 10. Lyre Birds. These Australian birds are renowned for their ability to mimic sounds including, but not limited to, a chainsaw, a car alarm, a dog's bark, the click of a camera shutter, and a whole lot more. Lyre birds love to sing and will quite happily belt out its songs for most of the daylight hours. But the lyre bird's true talent lies in its ability to lie, or at least mimic sounds around it. Some found it an effective defense mechanism to deceive their predators. Lyre birds are about the size of a pheasant and have tails which resemble a lyre, a stringed instrument in the form of a small U-shaped heart. Apart from their spectacular tail, lyre birds are now notorious for their vocal feats. Much like all songbirds, lyre birds are vocal learners. They can learn their songs, even the mimicry of other sounds, from older males rather than directly from their mimicked models. Number 9. Cuttlefish. Simply put, these guys have the power of invisibility. And by invisible, we mean they have some of the best camouflage skills in the animal kingdom. The cuttlefish is a relative to octopus and squid, and characterized by a thick internal calcified shell called the cuttlebone. Their size ranges between 2.5 and 90 centimeters and have somewhat flattened bodies bordered by a pair of narrow fins. These species have eight arms and two longer tentacles that are used in capturing prey, and can also be withdrawn into two pouches. Suction discs are located on the arms and on expanded pads at the tips of the tentacles. As for their superpower, cuttlefish can distort their bodies to resemble nearly any aquatic shape to blend in with their surroundings and hide from predators. They even have sacs on their skin containing pigments so they can change colors at a moment's notice. Scientists have long known that cuttlefish and some of their kin stop breathing when threatened by predators, but they thought for a long time that freezing in place merely aided the creature's visual camouflage. As it turns out, this serves another defense scheme as this decreases electrical activity enough not to betray their presence to foraging sharks. Number 8. Sea Cucumbers who would have thought that a lowly sea cucumber could have regeneration powers as good as Deadpool, Wolverine, and Mystique? However, different from these Marvel characters, sea cucumbers have a much more unworldly use of their powers of regeneration. These sea creatures have one of the most fascinating defense mechanisms. They contract their muscles and eject some of their internal organs out of their butts, which entangles predators and also emits a toxic chemical. Yes, you heard it right. They poop their organs out to defend themselves from predators. To be fair, that sounds like something Deadpool would do, actually. And don't worry, though. These excreted organs are later regenerated. Although all animals heal from wounds, not all regenerate injured or lost body parts, much less internal organs. There must be something about the sea cucumber making it capable of organ regeneration. The scientists think that the process of regenerating internal organs is fundamentally the same as us humans healing from a boo-boo, but admit that further study is needed. Sea cucumbers might probably provide us with the key to deciphering how to regenerate our tissues, or at least find out what is needed to do this. Number 7. Thorny Devils Thorny Devils have a strange knob-like appendage on the back of their necks, which is sometimes called a false head. When threatened, they can tuck its real head down between its forelegs, leaving the false head where its real head used to be. That's actually a pretty effective technique to confuse the predators. While thorny devils can camouflage, they also have an array of intimidating, densely packed spikes, each no bigger than the thorns of a rose. These spikes will make any would-be predator think twice before attempting to swallow them. They only eat ants and can consume thousands of it a day. They are the sit-and-wait types of predators who find a feeding site near ant trails and wait for the prey to pass right in front of them. They use their sticky tongue to capture these ants. Their spiny armor also helps them absorb water in their habitat. There are moisture-attracting grooves between their thorns so they obtain water from the dew that condenses on their bodies overnight, or by brushing up against dew-coated grass. Any water that gets into the grooves between its thorns is drawn by capillary action into its mouth allowing them to suck water from all over its body. Number 6. Pangolins Pangolins are the only mammals wholly covered in scales which they use to protect themselves from predators in the wild. If under threat, a pangolin will immediately curl into a tight ball and will use their sharp scaled tails to defend themselves. 
In spite of having this amazing superpower, their numbers continue to decrease in the wild, and that's mainly because they're targeted by a predator that no amount of armor can defend against. Humans. There's still a lot of illegal trade in pangolins because their meat is treated as a delicacy, and their scales are used in traditional medicine and folk remedies. And that's mostly in China and Vietnam. Based on old reports, an estimated 116,990 to 233,980 pangolins were killed, representing as little as 10% of the actual volume in pangolins in illegal wildlife trade. Although there is a bright side to this, thanks to the continuous efforts of other countries, pangolins are now being protected from extinction by having an agreement to end all illegal trade and governments will no longer allow the use of pangolin scales in traditional medicine. Pangolins eat ants, termites, and larvae, and are often known as the scaly anteater. Because they have no teeth, pangolins pick up food with their sticky tongues, which can sometimes reach lengths greater than the animal's body. They also tend to be solitary animals, needing only to mate and produce one to three offspring and raise for about two years. Number 5. The Immortal Jellyfish Among all the superpowers, the ability to defy death is by far the most amazing one. Well, this power is also the most fictional ability since no living creature has been proven to have it. That is, until scientists studied Teratopsis dorni, the so-called immortal jellyfish. Like any jellyfish, their life begins as a larva which develops from a fertilized egg. A planula swims at first, then settles on the seafloor and grows into a cylindrical colony of polyps. These ultimately spawn free-swimming, genetically identical medusae, the animals we recognize as jellyfish, and they grow to adulthood in a matter of weeks. Fully grown Teratopsis dorni is only about 4.5 millimeters across, smaller than a pinky nail. But how are they immortal exactly? Well, in times of danger and starvation, they just hit the reset button back to their development process and transform back into a polyp. In a process that looks remarkably like immortality, the born-again polyp colony eventually buds and releases medusae that are genetically identical to the injured adult. Number 4. The Dung Beetle Dung beetles are the superheroes of the bush. They're little creatures with superhuman strength and more character than most animals. Africa is a land filled with valuable resources and no creature understands this better than the dung beetle. They are not afraid of doing the dirty work, but there is more to these fascinating beetles than just being the cleanup crew of the wilderness. The average dung beetle can roll a ball of dung 50 times its own weight. The strongest dung beetle is the Anthenphagus tariscan. It can pull 1,141 times its own body weight, and this is equivalent to a human pulling six double-decker buses full of people. They do play a very important role in the environment by assisting the ecosystem to spread dung to where it can be fruitful. When they bury their dung balls, it gets absorbed into the ground, acting as a valuable compost. They also prevent the earth from being covered in a mountain of manure. Sounds like the dung beetle did really save the day now, didn't it? Number 3. Electric Eels An electric eel is indeed electric, but it's actually not an eel. Yes, you heard it right. Electric eels aren't actually eels, but more classified as a knife fish. With an electrical charge of up to 600 volts, they can stun their prey and keep predators at bay effectively. Their bodies contain electric organs with about 6,000 specialized cells called electrocytes that store power like tiny batteries. When threatened or attacking prey, these cells will discharge simultaneously. Electric eels live in the murky streams and ponds of the Amazon and Orinoco basins of South America, feeding mainly on fish, but also amphibians and even birds and small mammals. As air breathers, they must come to the surface frequently. They also have poor eyesight, but they also have some sort of a sixth sense. They actually emit a low-level charge, less than 10 volts, to use like radar to navigate and locate their prey. Thankfully, they aren't that deadly to humans, at least if, for instance, you were a bit afraid of their electricity. However, multiple shocks can cause respiratory or heart failure, and people have been drowned in shallow water after a stunning jolt. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's best pick probably has the most sophisticated superpower compared to anything else on our list. Why is that? That's because it uses chemical weapons. Find out what it is next with number two. Bomber Beetles. From the name itself, Bomber Beetles have an intelligent defense mechanism for which it uses four different substances combined with time and dose precision. The beetle makes an explosive gas by mixing two dangerous compounds. 
hydroquinone and hydrogen peroxide, to which it adds an inhibitory enzyme that prevents the explosion from taking place inside the insect. Thus, it can store it indefinitely. When a predator, for example a toad, approaches to eat this bomber beetle, the insect injects the mentioned chemicals into two combustion tubes and at the right moment adds a fourth substance, which is an anti-inhibitor ingredient. It is then that the gas leaves the beetle and reaches a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, producing a violent explosion right in the face of the predator. Water, caustic chemicals, oxygen, and heat are produced. The insect can shoot up to 50 successive jets with a range of 5 centimeters. The beetle controls and adjusts the direction and times the explosion of such gases, so bear in mind that they have their weapon cocked and loaded all the time. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Tardigrades. And last but definitely not the least, we have the tardigrades, also called water bears or moss piglets. They are near microscopic animals with long plump bodies and scrunched up heads, with eight legs and hands with four to eight claws on each. While strangely cute, these tiny animals are almost indestructible and can even survive in outer space. These creatures look like the hookah smoking caterpillars from Alice in Wonderland and can range from 0.05 millimeters to 1.2 millimeters long but they usually don't get any bigger than one millimeter long. Research has found that tardigrades can withstand environments as cold as minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit or as hot as of more than 300 degrees Fahrenheit. They can also survive radiation, boiling liquids, massive amounts of pressure of up to six times the pressure of the deepest part of the ocean, and even the vacuum of space without any protection. A 2008 study published in the journal Current Biology found that some species of tardigrade could survive 10 days at low Earth orbit while being exposed to a space vacuum and radiation. And when we say indestructible, we mean it. Although nearby supernovas or large asteroid impacts would be catastrophic for people, tardigrades could be unaffected. What animal superpowers would you like to have? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Check out these other videos on our channel. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody!